This week in Tim grapples with a language that he's so safe been speaking all his life. Chagrin. 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 Chagrin is one of those, I'm going to say chagrin, all right? That's that's what I'm going to Chagrin is one of those words which you read a lot, but no one ever says it. And there's a reason for that, because when you say it, you sound like a bellend. I mean, come on. It's sort of the same as Michelin and Michelin, which for years I've been saying Michelin, but maybe I should say Michelin, just like everybody else. Or Volkswagen and Volkswagen. People are generally split over this and there isn't really any hard and fast rule apart from what people think they sort of agree to because language is about consensus largely. It's not about what people say, it's about how, it's about how many people say it over a period of time. Anyway, chagrin, chagrin is a French word meaning annoyance after something that has happened. So maybe a bit of embarrassment, much to your chagrin. To Tim's chagrin, he could not say chagrin properly. It's an old French word, as you may have guessed, and it literally means rough skin. Apparently no one knows what the source of this is. So, um, well, I say no one. The very small amount of research that I've done has not turned up any sources. Anyway, this week's challenge is that you use that in a sentence to someone you've never met before. If you're a waitress or a, wa or a waiter, tonight, on shift, I would like you to use that word at least once. That would make my day if you did that. Thank you.